what is going on with Ripple and when is XRP price going to go up? Welcome back guys, it's CryptoRocco here and in today's video I'll be talking about some of the fundamental news for Ripple XRP. I'll be sharing with you some of the news that's been coming out with Ripple, Swift, R3 and Brad Garlinghouse, SBI. Then I'll do what I do best. I'll be talking to you guys about my charts. I'll be giving you guys a price prediction and technical analysis of Ripple XRP. So guys, if you have been following me for a while, you knew that I used to talk about Ripple a lot more uh, previously and TRX. Lately, I've been talking about Ripple XRP a lot less and I've been talking mainly about Holochain and Link and TRX and, and these are the coins that's been going up. If you follow me on my Twitter or on YouTube, guys, I've been you know talking about Holochain. And the main thing I'd like to share with you to start off this video, with Ripple there's not much new hype around Ripple. With TRX there's some hype about um, BitTorrent, I've not really been following their news but I've been trading it, you can see it's, it's moving up. If you go on the weekly or daily chart it's above the moving averages and it's been, I mean, they're, they're, I mean even TradingView is talking about TRX. So you can see you could have, if you've been looking to buy this you could have made a lot of profit and I've been making video um, on TRX. TRX for a while now and I've been talking about it from the start of the year uh, and another coin is Holochain this has been the most popular coin Holochain I, 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 I was talking about buying it about three weeks ago and um, I've been trading this a lot I've been investing in it and you can see this has been on a tear up even if you bought it last week or a few weeks ago you would have made decent money on Holochain and I've been sharing charts for Holochain for, for a few weeks now and months even um, and another coin is Link, Chainlink is another coin, VET has done well. So I've been talking about these coins that because the hype is with these coins. So what does it have to do with Ripple XRP? If you go back to a couple of years ago, Ripple XRP was the hot coin. People would be talking about Ripple XRP, what they're doing, the partnerships. Now the hype is, is died down and, it's, and, and partnership rumors. If this partnership rumor came out two years ago, Ripple would have gone to three four five dollars because this is such a big news and what they're doing in the background i like ripple xrp in i mean i love ripple as a company and xrp token can be useful as well so i like the project long term again please do your own research if you're investing in ripple xrp investing is different to trading if you are investing you're a long-term investor so short-term price movements happen because of hype news and emotions but long term the best coins or the best companies always prevail i'm not saying ripple is the best company if you if you've done your research and you believe in Ripple XRP, you can invest in it long term or dollar cost average because we don't know when the next price jump is going to come. It's difficult to predict. But what I will say is it's not the smartest idea to sell when it's down 200. I mean, let's find out how much is down. Ripple XRP is down massively. It's down. Oh, my God, guys. 1200 <laughs> percent it's not great is it it went up to three dollars and now it's it's not great how uh, the massive percentage that is down so that is what i'm talking about guys we shouldn't really be selling when uh, if you believe in every product xrp this is not financial advice please do your own research but this is not the best time to be selling it you should have been selling it 10 months ago a year ago so that's just a quick head to start off the video the hype around it the hype around it is now with i mean LTC is doing quite well as well, but TRX, Holochain and Link, they're the hype coins for now. So what are some of the news that's been coming out with Ripple XRP? So Ripple and Swift indirectly partner through R3. So let's, I mean, I'm not going to read it all out. I'll share the most important bits with you. It's kind of a triangle now as R3 had very recently entered into partnership with Ripple Labs and Swift was found exactly duplicating Visa which made a monumental purchase of payments company called Earthport, a long-term partner of Ripple Labs, a backdoor indirect partnership of traditional payment masters with Ripple also makes one thing that the considered battle in payment space may actually be more of a giant 
joint network under construction which include all major players in the industry and implements cutting edge technology with Ripple increasingly growing as part of this network. So this is obviously really positive news for Ripple and it's good for the industry as a, as a crypto industry but I'm not sure how much of that will be affected by XRP and how they will be incorporating XRP. There's, it's not much clear because as we're not Ripple investors, we're XRP investors. We want X XRP to be incorporated in the payments. That is where the benefit of XRP will come. So XRP price surge follows Ripple increasing st stature in fintech crypto market analyst. I mean, I'll do my technical analysis, but when it broke down this trend line, I said, look, I think it will go up and you can go back on my Twitter. I don't delete delete anything or you can share, you can watch my previous video, videos that I've made about Bitcoin or Ripple XRP. My thoughts was that I saw I was going to see a double bottom, some sort of a bounce. And if it failed at that level and broke down, then Ripple XRP could be or XRP can be going down. Again, I'm using Ripple XRP interchangeably. I know the differences and if you are if you are an investor in XRP and you don't know the difference you shouldn't be investing so then this news came up and if my prediction was kind of wrong I'm, I'm, I'll put my hands up and this massive green candle I changed my um, my trading plan when I saw this and it, it, this trade this one candle broke out of nine ten days of consolidation but since then we've not seen that a follow through that we were expecting which is not great but it is holding this level it's at the 618 level so we'll have to see how this plays out and we need to see it to move up to kind of this level and I'm not really looking to buy Ripple XRP uh, probably uh, I won't be bullish on it until it goes above this because there's too much resistance it needs to break above the 40 cent level for me to be looking at XRP again so we've talked about the price surge I'm not sure about the surge but that's what they're talking about basically over the last two years or two years we've been witnessing a battle within the payments industry and what we're noticing just now is rather than a battle it's kind of a network where there are lots of major players they're all fighting for market share but at the same time they're growing and inter can't pronounce that word but they're trying to kind of work together where payments will be using a power of technology much quicker much faster much cheaper and ripple labs is increasingly gaining stature so you can see where xrp is coming in now i'll be talk reading up about this when it comes to short-term price appreciation especially in double digits like we saw with xrp recently most of that is driven by public announcements that's what i explained at the start of the video i intend to think public announcements are able to affect um, price whether it's public equities or cryptocurrency so this is um, what I've been trying to tell you about the short-term price so if so the main thing I want you to take out of this video is if you are a long-term investor you shouldn't be move too much by the price look at some great investors like Warren Buffett or other great investors uh, you need to think long term you need to understand if you're doing a long term investment or short term investments I have got some long term investments in XRP as well but I'm mainly a trader and I look at price analysis the key zones what people are saying and I try to sell and buy at the key levels so if you're a long term investor dollar cost average but please do your own research do not buy XRP because you see myself or someone else talking online uh, but if you're a long term investor think about long term so why is the price of XRP not going up with all the news because the hype is not there the hype is with Holochain um, you can see even my videos my Ripple videos used to get thousands of views now my holochain video gets it gets a lots of views so people are wanting to know about holochain and they're buying it pushing the price up so when xrp some positive news come up and the whole cryptocurrency market is going up then you'll see if ripple xrp is genuine and it delivers a actual solution to the world you will see xrp going up so this is what i'm talking about guys a um, couple of other news is XRP should be practically be used by Ripple and R3. So I talked about how will XRP be used in this great partnership and SBI is saying they are planning to use it. So SBI R3 Japan will um, start, 
will be established with the latest move R3 has over 300 partners that will enable this to become very fruitful. R3's core is distributed ledger technology whose provisional introduction is being supported by us. What's important is to make sure XRP is practically used by R3 and Ripple. So they've, they've got a different stance. They're actually talking about XRP as well. That is what we want to see. So Swift conducts almost 15,000 transactions every day with over 1,000 established partners they have te the technology and even Swift has recognized that they reach li their limits they have done everything they can with the R3 tie up they've done the cost can be reduced significantly so if XRP can produce significantly cheaper and faster payments you will see some great benefits so that is my thoughts on XRP guys some of the other news like I said is the hype is with Tron Holochain and, and Link Technically, the chart is very good. Fundamentally, they've got some good stuff as well. So, uh, follow me on YouTube, guys. I've been doing almost daily videos on on coins that I'm looking to trade, um, and and some of them have done really, really well. So keep an eye on them. And if there's any coins that you want me to review, let me know. Yesterday, I covered a couple of coins for you guys, GVT and NPX. So if there's any coins you want me to cover, let me know. So yeah, there's not too many other news. It's been listed on some exchanges. Binance have started Visa payments. So there's some other news but there's not too much news so I'll finish off with the technical analysis and um, so when you if you are a trader or if you're if you're an investor I'd still say learn the charts at least the basics of it the first thing that you do is look on the weekly time frame and we are in the downtrend all the moving averages are pointing below so it's not looking great and that's a trade that I took previously so you, what you can do is wait for it to go above the moving averages. I mean, one of the trades I took, uh, we'll have to go on the daily last year, um, was really profitable. I bought around, um, no, not that one. That was the year before. So that's a trade that I took last year. That was one of my profitable trades in XRP. So I've not really been taking any big positions from them. Um, that was a sale lot of XRP. I sold a lot of it beforehand as you can see it's breaking the trend line that was a really profitable trade to take that trade there uh, what I'm looking for now is for it to go above the moving averages like it did previously and then kind of give me the pullback entry um, you can go on the four hour time frames as well guys it's not really it's below the moving averages it's very con tight consolidation so it's not a coin that I'm looking to trade if you are looking to trade XRP I mean there's inside bars as well you can see so wait for the inside bar to break you saw there's one two three four inside so four days of trading inside that bar then when it broke out you saw some volatility you could see that same here as well maybe we see a couple of more inside bars and then we see some massive volatility so that's if I was trading it that's what I'd look at shorter time frame I mean I'm doing some shorter time from trading on um, FX and oil I'm doing some back testing there are some opportunities and um, but I don't really do short term trading for cryptocurrency and um, that's why my RSI is set to 5 you can see when it ticks from oversold and you get a buy entry there there's a sell entry there so there is opportunities to day trade but I'm not really looking to day trade again sorry for the longer video guys I wanted to explain to you what my thoughts are and what's going on with Ripple XRP I know I've not really made many videos if I get enough views and people have questions about it I will keep you guys up to date a lot more so thank you very much for watching this video guys I'd love to uh, to guys to give me a subscribe and turn on the notification button I don't sell any courses I don't charge anything so I'd really appreciate if you could just subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button also guys if you want to uh, win uh, be in with a chance to win two hundred and fifty dollars worth of XRP s scroll down subscribe to my channel turn on the notification button and leave your XRP addresses below so thank you very much for watching this video I hope you've enjoyed it smash that like button subscribe to my channel and let's have a discussion on Ripple XRP what are your thoughts on Ripple XRP leave a comment below and we can have a discussion on your price prediction for Ripple XRP and um, I shared with you my thoughts on Ripple XRP 
XRP price long term I'm bullish short term and um, again until this breaks out I don't really know where the price is gonna go I don't think anyone knows they'll be lying long term I'm bullish it can go above but we'll have to see the whole cryptocurrency market going above and um, again this is not an exact price prediction no one can predict what XRP will do and um, initially if it's bullish the 40 cent mark would be my next target because there's a lot of resistance and if it fails it's not really looking that pretty and um, if it does fail we'll have to we'll, we'll come to, down to the bottom of these levels so thank you very much guys smash that like button subscribe to my channel if you have any questions email me below if you questions on mentoring email me below and then I'll, I'll get back to you and um, so thanks you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel uh, turn on the notification button share this video with your friends and family and I'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much